हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू आई एग्जाम बी प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फेज टू एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ आर बी आई ग्रेड बी डी पी आर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एग्जामिनेशन विच वॉज हेल्ड ऑन सिक्स ऑगस्ट वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल द मेमोरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन दैट केम इन द एग्जामिनेशन सो लुक एट द ब्रीफ एनालिसिस सो पार्ट ए कंसिस्ट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक कंसेप्ट क्वेश्चन द स्टैटिक कंसेप्ट वेर इन इट वॉज अ गुड मिक्स ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल एंड थियोरिटिकल क्वेश्चन सो इट वॉज एन एडवांटेज फॉर ऑल काइंड ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स एंड इट वॉज ऑल्सो सीन दैट there were no questions from the growth models this time which was a little unexpected and moreover there was question from finance topic which was also again very unexpected as uh, they have never really tested questions specifically from the finance in the phase 2 examination so it was good advantage for people from finance background as well as those people who had studied this particular topic in detail then the next uh, part is the part b on indian economy where the the questions were more or less expected and it was tested on the current hot topics going on in the indian economy so let's uh, look at the question one by one that came in the part a of the exam first question was a numerical question on the islm framework where all the values of consumption investment money supply money demand transactional demand for money and the speculative demand for money all these values were given to you and you had to find out the equilibrium interest rate similar questions have been tested uh, on the mock test uh, where we have asked to find out the lm equation with uh, speculative demand for money transactional demand for money given and is curve equation with different uh, values given all you have to do is use this equation y equals to c plus i for the is equation and money supply is equal to money demand which is the sum of transactional and the speculative demand for money and then equate these two equations to get the equilibrium interest rate so this was part a to the first question the second part the part b of the first question was a question on the tragedy of commons concept where a paragraph was given to you on elephant and cow population and they were talking about the effect of commercial value of ivory on the elephant population and beef on the cow population and followed by this paragraph there were two three questions on uh, tragedy of commons concept tragedy of uh, commons is a problem wherein individuals have an incentive to consume a common resource that they have but at the expense of other individuals and there's no way that you can exclude anyone from consuming this uh, common resource so that's the economic problem that this paragraph is also talking about so several questions were given following this paragraph and you had to answer those questions based on the paragraph the second question was <coughs> asking you to verify if the least cost factor combination is being produced given the value of capital labor and the output uh, that was being produced so you were given a table wherein output uh, capital and labor for company was given to you and you have to see whether it is producing at the least cost factor combination and if not then what can be done to rectify it so all you have to check was this ratio mpl divided by the price of labor which is wages and mpk divided by the price of capital and compare these two and uh, see that whether these are equal to each other or not if not then whether capital needs to be increased or labor needs to be increased next uh, question was the part b to the second question where you were given a demand and a cost function and you had to show that the monopolist produces half the output under perfect competition a similar kind of question was there in the mock test where you had to find out the the profit maximizing output for the monopolist and here also you had to find out the profit maximizing uh, output for the competitive uh, industry so we give the demand functions and the cost function you just had to do profit maximization and compare the quantities arrived at equilibrium next uh, question was a short note on any of the two topics from these three topics that were given to you so absolute measures of poverty brand de krugman model kuznets inverted u hypothesis from these three topics you have to pick any two and write a short note on it so business inverted u hypothesis was uh, covered in the course wherein an inverted u shaped uh, graph wherein 
the in the early stage of economic growth income inequality increases and then it stabilizes for some time and then it declines in the later stages so this is this phenomena you had to explain in the short next question was this uh, question from finance where they were asking you to explain this capm model which is the capital asset pricing model so in part a of this question you have to ex briefly explain this model with the diagram part b of the question was asking you to find out the current stock price all the other figures were given risk free interest rate market rate of return beta all these things were given to you in the question so all you have to do is use this particular formula of capital asset uh, pricing model and find out the current uh, stock price then in the c part of the question uh, it was asking you that whether a student should immediately take up a job or go for a higher education education and then take up the job so here you have to check which is more feasible so you have to compare the present value in each of the scenario next question was a question from econometrics part where they had given you a data on the quarterly sales of a company this was a question from the trend estimation topic and they had asked two several questions following that next was a part b of the examination where the questions from the indian economy sections were there so the first question in this part b was talking about the importance of women empowerment in overall economic development here also uh, one of the question was there in your mock test exam where we had talked about the several schemes and the um, policies which the government is take, has taken up for gender equality like uh, reserving seats in different legislatures and uh, the beti bachao beti padhao scheme all these things we had to talk about here in this particular question next was a question on economic growth poverty and and inequality in the global scenario and the unemployment rate exceeding the growth rate how is that a biggest challenge for the indian economy so here in this question also there was a question in the mock examination where you had to talk about the india's economic growth and how is it associated with the rising inequality why does it happen and what actions need to be taken to mitigate this problem of rising inequality and we also discussed here about the global perspective of uh, inequality and poverty and economic growth next question was a short note on any of the four uh, so you have to write a short note on any four out of these five parts which is the bad bank fiscal response to the covid-19 problem and monetary developments in 2022 2021 urban poverty alleviation policies impact of covid-19 on credit delivery and inclusion for this question we had a question in the mock where then you had to discuss the fiscal and monetary measures that were incorporated to revive the economy from the pandemic we have taken points from here and written a short note for this question wherein we were talking about what are the fiscal measures that the government took to bring the economy out of this uh, out of the pandemic and the, basically several relief measures were uh, provided by the government of india during the pandemic uh, in terms of food cooking gas and cash transfer benefits also to senior citizens and then um, what the how rbi uh, took charge of this problem and what were the several monetary measures that were incorporated to revive the economy that you could have discussed here in several parts of this particular question next question was a question on sustainable development goals and what are the steps that india has taken to achieve these sustainable development goals with respect to poverty health and education so there were two questions in your mock examination related to this one was talking about the importance of sustainable development and how sustainable growth depends on timely uh, climate and including policies for climate mitigation in the government uh, budget next question was on the indian concept of financial stability and the current risks associated with global and geopolitical developments so for this question we had detailed 
uh, discuss this even in the live class the various uh, points highlighted in the financial stability report that was released in june 2022 which was the fifth issue of the financial stability report and wherein the rbi has highlighted various issues like non performing assets the geopolitical developments that have taken a uh, place and it is also highlighted various issues in the report so you could have answered this particular question with respect to the financial uh, stability report so these were the 10 questions that were asked in the descriptive economics exam next was a descriptive english paper which happened in the second half of the day wherein questions from the english paper are here there were four topics in the essay banking automation talent versus natural gift causes of malnutrition industrial revolution 4.0 and you had to pick any one topic and write an essay on any of these next question was on a pressy wherein the theme of the pressy was pandemic as an opportunity and uh, you had to write a short pressy given the whole paragraph then the next question was a reading comprehension and the major theme of the comprehension passage was daydream benefits and several questions were followed by it and you had to answer those questions based on passage given to you so these were the questions from the english book now if you are interested in the rbi grade b deep your online course we have a course where we provide live classes and practice tests several chapter tests mock tests and section tests are given to you study material pdfs are also there and you have recorded content in forms of short and crisp videos also we will be soon rolling out with the interview guidance uh, program for your next stage of preparation if you are interested in enrolling for this course right now we are running a flat 42% off you can use this code yari and avail the offer for if you are preparing for any other examination or you are interested in any other kind of guidance you can call us on this number or, or you can also drop an email on this email id for any queries that you may have thank you